Hi all! Welcome to the Seasons and Garden video. In this video we are going to go over my designs for the new garden. So as you can see my garden is completely awkwardly shaped. It's positioned north-south, so the north is on the top of the page and the south is on the bottom. The east is on the right, the west is on the left and the west is lower than the east, so the slope goes west to east. Let's start with the front of the garden. The front of the garden is fairly simple. You have a garage, you have a parking place and you have the walkway. And then here on the sides I'm going to grow some lovely flowers that are mostly actually going to be shade-loving plants because my neighbor has a hedge that is producing quite a bit of shade. He even has like this tall cypress-like trees. I'm pretty sure that those are not cypresses because the climate's not good for cypress. Next to the parking space I'm planning to put some conifers. I'm not sure what type of conifer at the moment, but it's going to be some conifer. Then on the north side of the house, because this is the full shade area, as you walk past the house on the path, I will plant the Tuja Occidentalis Smaragd or I think that's also Arbovitae smaragd, but this should be fine in this case. And between them I'm also planning to go with some sort of white hydrangea and probably Lamium purple dragon, because I'm currently in love with that plant. So now going to the back of the garden. First we will arrive at the terrace. Now this terrace, I have plans to make an outdoor kitchen there and the lounge so that we can hang out and entertain. Then next to the terrace is going to be the area, this triangular lawn area, because my husband always wanted to have one of those Wibbledon type lawns that is like perfectly manicured, super, super, super fancy schmancy lawn. So I'm going to put the super duper fancy schmancy lawn over here, uh, because that's basically one of two lawns that we are actually going to have. Everything else will either be ground covers or mulch or flowers. Then the next area that is the first rec rectangle area is the place for my greenhouse because I want to have one of those fancy fancy greenhouses that can be used for growing plants and also for entertaining. And here I will definitely have the citrus trees and I will give it a shot to plant the tomatoes because we're going up north now, more north. The climate is just not for growing tomatoes. Even here where we are now, the tomatoes are struggling, but you can find some heirloom types that can withstand this, uh, this climate. And you can just forget about the peppers. They're just it's useless growing them. I mean, just I, I gave up. You need the greenhouse to go grow peppers full stop. And up there north we are going to need a greenhouse to, you know, have at least a chili. <laughs> so I'm hoping to be able to grow that in the greenhouse. Also when you are going through that area you're going to first come to a little patio that is under the pergola. And I want to put this my bistro table with chairs so that you know, you can go there and you can enjoy the morning sun and you can drink coffee and or in the afternoon, you know, you go, you drink coffee, you see the garden for a, from a bit of different perspective. And yeah, I will grow the Virginia creeper that I have already propagated. Next rank rectangle is the area with the veg patch and with the garden shed or garden house. I'm still not sure whether I just want to put a garden house for the guests to sleep there or if I just want to make it as a shed and so that it's my workshop because I want to do some workshoppy things inside and you know have tools and whatnot and some fun. Right, now that this second rentacle part is done we're going to back to the triangle shape and this triangle is going to consist of the meadow grass and one big chestnut tree. I have wanted to grow chestnut trees 
for such a long time. The sweet chestnuts, I love them. We love eating them. We're honestly, I cannot wait for a couple of more months. I mean, probably around end of October, we should start getting the sweet chestnuts from France and Italy, and then we go nuts. And every couple of days I am cooking the chestnuts. <laughs> so I'm hoping that with growing my own chestnuts, I will eat my own chestnuts as well. And I'm also thinking about putting a fire pit in this area. Maybe find some nice point where you can, when, when you sit down, you can see the entire garden and maybe a little bit of the valley below us. And that, you know, maybe we could have a nice fire pit over there. I have to admit that this, the garden shed and this part is still a little bit under the consideration because there's a chance that I actually move the garden house into this area and the chestnut tree that goes below, but this is something that will have to happen there. And then we come to the area of the small terraces. Now, this is actually going to be my orchard, so I'm going to go the fruits in cordons in a manner that my father and my grandpa and I don't know how many grandpas are before have grown vineyard. This up north is not a vineyard country anymore. The wines cannot live there. But I thought that I could still do this sort of thing but with the uh, orchard partly to remember them and partly because I want to make my reserves and my jams and I need fruit for this and compotes and I don't know what else and I want to eat my fruit no it's fresh fruit I will try to grow apricots but it's the I doubt it it's they're just not cut for this type of climate so most likely it's not going to happen yeah, and like I said, on the sides and everywhere there will be beautiful plants without grass and except these two triangles that are going to be grass. I don't want to see grass anywhere. Even the terraces with the fruit trees, the cordons, I'm going to grow Irish moss over there and do like a path between the rows of the, of the fruit trees. And it's going to be covered in the Irish moss because I don't want to cut the grass. I just don't want to mow. I don't want to do it. Let's be clear. Right, so this is it when it comes to me jabbing my jaws. Uh, we are now going to start with the garden, which will garden tour. Excuse me for the camera motion. It might make it easy, but the application that, that I was using for the garden design isn't meant to be shown for a virtual tour and I did my best so that it's not that bad. But yeah, I hope you will still enjoy, still enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.